I was a high school teacher for eight years before law school, and I also taught yoga and meditation. And on days that I noticed my students were especially distracted or not focused, I would do a small meditation activity with them before class, sometimes in Spanish, as I was a Spanish teacher, and just just help them to settle so that they could really focus on learning. And now that I am a law student, I do the same thing, not with my students, but I actually teach yoga here at the law school. And there's a professor who teaches meditation as well. And it's one of the best things that I've done for myself as a law student in terms of my ability to focus, to really learn what I'm supposed to be learning, and to do well on our exams. And how did it work for your students? My students, uh, you know, sometimes it seems a little weird to them at first if they've never done it before, but they found that it really did help to just take a few moments, settle themselves, and I thought it was really important to teach them those skills so that they have them moving forward. I actually also taught my niece the same thing, and she's younger, so with her I taught her this little thing with her fingers, so just focus on that, and it's just really about finding any way to settle your mind and focus on one thing and let everything else fall away so that you can focus on what you need to be focusing on, which for students is learning. So it's it's an important skill that I want wanted them to have. And with your students, um, did they improve? Did you see any results in the classroom after teaching them meditation? You know, I never did data on it. I know that there is a lot of research and a lot of data. Um, in myself, I can say as a student, without question, especially in law school, I can say um, my ability to focus on my spring exams after I started uh, doing focusing on my meditation practice a little bit more was much better than my fall exam. So in myself, I can say for sure that it helped. And in my students, many of them reported that it did. So, But there is a lot of research and data about this. Different, different issues and concerns. I'm finding, I'm so, finding many, so many different mentalities different mentality today. It hard. seems hard. It seems it challenging. Seems challenging. I don't say hard because the only thing hard, 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 hard is the concrete that we walk on. Everything, everything else, else is a challenge. Else is a challenge. Um, so, so, so I'm ready. For I'm ready challenge. for this challenge. And I was built, and I was for, built this. for this. I think that I think we, that all, have we all have a purpose in life. In mind, and mine is going to take on a task that, that most of that most are back away from. Back away from. from. Impossible. That impossible. So people, people say it's impossible. I see possibilities. I don't see. I don't see anything as being impossible. Mentalities, 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 there are different, there are different mentalities, mentalities, but just like just there's like different, there's ways, different to ways to teach people, people how to read, there's, there's different, different ways to, ways to communicate people. There's different ways, there's different ways to communicate people.